When the first trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie dropped, it was met with, let's just say a sense of collective dismay. The internet went into an uproar about Sonic's appearance, and it was quite the spectacle, like when you see someone walking their cat on a leash through downtown Portland. You can't help but stop and wonder, what's going on there? So what was it that people found so objectionable about Sonic's original design? Well, it largely came down to a severe case of the uncanny valley. This is that eerie feeling you get when something non-human comes too close to looking human, like those weirdly realistic-looking dolls or some CGI characters. In Sonic's case, it was his human-like teeth and eyes. They gave people the heebie-jeebies, kind of like the vibe you'd get walking past the old, abandoned Portland underground tunnels at night. His eyes were smaller and less cartoonish than the Sonic we knew from the video games, diminishing the character's iconic look and energy. Combine this with a strangely proportioned body, less stylized fur, and weirdly muscular legs, and you had a recipe for something quite unsettling. It was like an uninvited guest showed up in the form of Sonic, and nobody was happy to see him. Fans wanted the Sonic they remembered, the anthropomorphic hedgehog with oversized, expressive eyes, gloves, and red sneakers who they could connect with. The original movie design missed the mark by trying to blend realism with a character that is inherently fantastical and over-the-top. Even though the production had good intentions, the fans communicated loud and clear that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thankfully, the studio listened and got to work on a redesign that was more true to the character's origins. They delayed the movie release to get it right, which is a big move considering time is money. And in Hollywood, that's an understatement. The fiasco was a revealing moment for Hollywood. It showed that fan investment and social media feedback could influence big-budget productions in real time. It's a dialogue that simply didn't exist in the pre-social media era. The final design was applauded, and the movie went on to do quite well, proving that sometimes taking a beat to listen and make changes is worth the hassle. So in the end, we got a Sonic movie that felt much more familiar, and a Sonic that the fans could feel excited about. The redesign was a win for the character, the fans, and the movie itself, Sort of like a serene, sunny day along the Willamette River, after weeks of the typical Portland drizzle.